Hello and thank you for watching my range of videos. Today we're going to talk about how to replace or upgrade the roller bearing that holds the clutch bell in place. If you've tried to obtain one of these roller bearings, you can see this one, here is a shell of one, um, which is totally destroyed, uh, all of the needles have gone. What normally happens is these melt and then the needles fall out. But if you've tried to re re replace one of these, try to find one on the internet, they're almost impossible to find now. Nobody seems to manufacture them. So. I've come up with a bit of a fix, which I hope will help you uh, and, and certainly solve the problem. So if we look at this engine, this is a Kyosho GT engine, it's quite an old engine, but this uses a roller bearing on the bell housing. Uh, this, this fix will work for Kyosho, it'll also work for HPI, this is an HPI bell housing, uh, this is a Thunder Tiger bell housing, and exactly the same fix will work for all of them. This one again is another Kyosho. So all we're going to do is we're going to remove the little circlip that holds the front on. Sometimes it's a circlip, sometimes it's a screw. It doesn't really matter which way it is. Uh, but whatever happens, we need to take the front off. In this case, we're going to remove the washer. We don't need the washer anymore because our new bearing will take the place of the washer, so that can go. We're going to remove the bell housing and also we're going to remove the bearing. Now in this case, this particular bearing is absolutely fine, as you can see there. But what normally happens is, as I said, they get destroyed. And when that's gone, uh, this is the fix for um, for upgrading it. So we're also going to remove this washer here because we don't need this anymore. That literally stops the bearing from rubbing against the clutch, which we don't need anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bell housing and into the bell housing we're going to push these two products. These are available uh, in pairs. They're available on my website rcscrapyard.com or on eBay. And if you look at the bottom of the video, the eBay item number should be flashing up for you. So all we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to put these into the bell housing. Push one into the top, just like that, and push the other one into the bottom, just like that. So hopefully you can see that one in the bottom and one in the top, okay? It does make the bell housing slightly wider, so if you've got any other washers or spaces in here, you may need to remove them. But otherwise, essentially, that's basically it. We push that into place, we push that down onto the spindle, and then from there, the circlip goes back on. I'll just squeeze that in place, I'll use my little tool for that. Clip, there we go. And that's it. And it's as simple as that. So now we've got a new bell house bearing, fits on there. Uh, it's actually much tighter, much stronger than the original bell house bearing. There we are, you can see that, it needs to wear in a little bit. Uh, but that's the fix, it's as simple as that. If I take those two bearings back out again, um, and then we'll just show you how they fit into um, the other bells. So this particular one was the Kyosho one. Come on out, you come sir, clip. There we go. This particular one was a, a Kyosho one. There we go, there's one there, and one here. This is an HPI, exactly the same fix will fit into an HPI, you can see there, put one in the top and one in the bottom, and also this is a Thunder Tiger. So if you've got a DT10 for example, um, or an SSK, these are the same arrangement, then this will fix it too. So you put one in the top, one in the bottom, and that's it. That's your roller bearing replaced, it's as simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. If you need them, I'll keep them in stock on, on eBay uh, and on the website. So um, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye.